Welcome to this University of Southampton 5 in 5. In this video, we will be talking about alternatives to studying medicine. Number 1. Know the breadth of your options. Whether you have your sights set on a medicine degree or you're currently unsure, it's worth first reviewing exactly what your options are. Currently, there are over 350 different NHS careers and every single one of these careers makes a difference to people's lives every day. You may think that you want to become a psychiatrist, but you've not heard of a clinical psychologist before. Both fields work with people with mental health problems in the NHS. A psychiatrist may offer psychotropic drugs to treat depression, where a clinical psychologist may offer talking therapies. Currently, clinical psychologists do not require a medicine degree. It's definitely worth considering whether there are appealing options available to you other than the traditional medicine routes. Number two, look into alternative salaries. A lot of students consider a career in medicine because of its high salary. But did you know that medicine alternatives can also have appealing salaries? Make sure you investigate the following factors. Consider NHS banding, working in private practice, working for public or private companies, variation in roles in other sectors, and think about progression versus the time it might take. Here, you can see a comparison between two NHS-based medical careers, comparing expected working hours and salary range. Whilst the surgeon may seem the most attractive at first sight, a biomedical scientist on a band nine with more than five years of experience can earn over £100,000. Even at graduate entry with less than one year of experience, a biomedical scientist could earn about £24,000 a year. When thinking about salary ranges, these are never guaranteed figures, and whatever path you take, you still need to work hard to progress. Number three, quality of life importance. When considering medicine alternatives, it really is important that you take into account your quality of life. Medicine, however well paid, could lead to becoming stressed and burnt out, with a recent study finding almost a third of UK doctors might be suffering from burnout and compassion fatigue. Is this something that you'd considered? Looking again at these two professions as seen previously and the average working hours, a biomedical scientist may have their weekends and evenings free and work more of a standard week. With a doctor, this may not be the case. And there is a great NHS comparison tool you could use to compare different careers you might be interested in. Number four, self-reflection is key. It's best to decide what you actually want out of a career in the medical profession and asking yourself why you want to be in a caring career and what you want to achieve. A really good way to start is asking yourself these four things. Do I want to work in a caring role more widely? Do I want high levels of patient contact? Or am I more happy working behind the scenes? Do I want to find the cure for diseases and carry on doing research? Because working as a doctor, you may not do this. And do I want a lifelong career of learning or progression? Number five making use of your fifth choice. If you are thinking of applying to medicine, your fifth choice on UCAS is for a non-medicine subject, but it can still be related. You may wish to be strategic in your choice. For example, if you choose a biomedical science program, does the university you've chosen have a good medical school with a graduate entry medicine program you could apply to in the future? And what are the requirements? And make sure you look into all your options. Your fifth choice could be a related subject, but it doesn't have to be a science. Here at Southampton, we have a fantastic life science programme, including subjects such as cardiac physiology, podiatry and audiology. Remember, there are many journeys from A to B in the field of healthcare, so make sure you understand all your options fully. So, here's our five in five. Know the breadth of your options. There's way more than you might originally think. Research all different pathways and the salary options. Assess what quality of life you wish to have in your professional career. Think about what kind of future you want. Ask what you truly want out of a career path in this field. Use your fifth medicine choice intelligently. Good luck with your applications.